Hi, welcome to my studio. Diana Trout here with Tackett Stitch book. I love this book form. Let me show you the supplies we'll be using and a couple of samples. So this is the book we'll be making in this class. It is four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half inches tall. It has a flap closure that just tucks under these two buttons. And the cover is, as you can see, the width of the book, the spine, another width of the book, another spine, and then that flap. I'll be using white paper today just so that you can it'll be a clear shot for you but certainly you can use any sort of paper that you'd like and there's a couple of options listed on the syllabus. So let's get started with the supplies. You will be needing tapestry needles. These are just DMC picked up at the craft store 18 by 22 and they have a they do not have a sharp point you don't want to take the risk of piercing your paper where you don't want it pierced. Um, we have waxed linen. Um, I think that this book looks particularly nice with hemp and you can see that samp example here with this do si do that I made in Italy. It just seemed to lend itself um, to the handmade paper Oh, really nicely. It just has a more earthy feel to it. So you can definitely use hemp. If you use hemp, you want either a candle or a little block of beeswax, and I will show you how to wax your thread. You will need an X-Acto knife, which is missing. Okay, here it is. X-Acto knife a pair of scissors, a cutting mat of some kind. Um, I use those quilting mats. They're really nice. A, an awl, a pencil, a bone folder. You'll also be needing a something to either a piece of a mouse pad or I like to use uh, the yellow pages which still comes <laughs> for some reason as a uh, cradle to pierce my signatures. A triangle. Uh, this is pretty important to keep your lines parallel as you'll see. This is way overkill on the size but it's one I've been using since forever and I'll show you how to use this but you could get one that should be at least I'd say six inches high just to be on the safe side. Okay, you'll need um, your stack of paper and this should be trimmed as as in the syllabus. You can read the syllabus for the trimming sizes and the amounts of paper. You'll need a strip of paper also in the syllabus directions. That's for the cover a little bit of glue. It can be Elmer's glue. It doesn't need to be PVA. And then I like to have a few paper clips and uh, if you'd like to use some beads, these are 6 slash 10 e-beads. These will go through your tapestry needle and your thread. You can also use little doohickey, charms, embellishments. These are from Susan Leonard Casmer. I think I'll use them in this book. Uh, just again from the craft store. And I think that pretty much covers the supply list. 